I guess I start telling you what some of this stuff is. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. What's up guys? So today we're gonna go over a quick little quick little helpful tip. A question that you guys are always constantly asking me, and you guys always want help with, or I, I don't know, you guys maybe some of you guys don't quite understand how it works. Um, but the question is what what compressor do I use? What compressor should I buy? What compressor do you use? What you know, what about compressors? So I'm gonna go over a quick tips, some quick stuff uh, to explain to you um, the compressors that I use, that I use, I've used, and the ones that I've recommend uh, that you could use, um, and what I would recommend that you get in case you can't find these. Um, so yeah, let me uh, pull them all out of their little hidey spots, um, and then we'll go ahead and show you. So you guys go ahead and uh, chill right here. I'm gonna poke my eye with this thing. Uh, let me pull these out and I'll be right back. So I've laid them out here so that you can see. This way. Let's just talk this way. Um, so I did a review on this one quite a while, while, quite some time ago. But this is the Segola CP2000. Um, this one no longer works, unfortunately. I've had this for a few years now. A couple years, a few years. Um, it just died out recently. Um, and I was probably working it a little too hard to be honest with you. <clears throat> These have a very small tank, so everything sits inside of there, as you can see. There's a very little tank here, little pump, and yeah, it, it works great as long as you're painting small stuff. So if you're like doing miniatures, you know, maybe little model cars, stuff like that, where you're not going to be painting for extended periods of time. You know, a little compressor like this with a little small tank, um, this will work pretty good for most people. Uh, that that's kind of the bare minimum. Any compressor that you, I that you'll see me use always has a tank, um, because without a tank, you're gonna have a lot of pulsing in the line and whatnot. So up from there, what I've been using for little small events and stuff is this California Air Tools. 1P1060S um, and I've had this one for a few years now still works great I keep it in its box over there um, and then I just take it out when I'm gonna use it for events and, and stuff like that I really don't use it in here because obviously here we have a big compressor um, but yeah and you'll notice too this one has a quick connect on it a lot of people ask how do you connect your airbrush to this this is called a quick connect right here this piece here then you need to find the proper fitting that fault goes into here and the proper fitting for your airbrush hose to fit onto the quick connect <sighs> then we have this uh what is this here uh, this is a central pneumatic two horsepower eight gallon 125 psi i've had this over five years now i've had this room for quite a while it still works good. I use this one for bigger events where I know I'm going to be really busy, maybe like slam doing shirts or like if I'm going to go out and do a really big wall and I know I'm just going to be busy spraying for long periods of time. I'll go and set this up far away from where I'll be spraying. I got the hose, right? And then I just run my airbrush hose off of there. 
but they got this 50 foot hose wrapped around there I'll go and set it up far away and then you know I don't have to worry it runs pretty cool it's oil cooled and yeah everything works on that one still and then I have this little cobalt here now this is one that I bought um, specifically because it's a little bit quieter um, so if I'm doing like work inside of somebody's home or something like that I'll, I'll buy I'll use this one you know like if I'm doing a wall but it's inside somebody's house you know I don't want to cause a whole bunch of ruckus for everybody this cobalt uh, makes some noise but it doesn't like it's not overbearing to where it, it's obnoxious you know so I have this one here again has a tank you know here's all the specs for it again it has a quick connect my 50 foot line here on the end has a quick connect right and all of these compressors no matter which one you like they will all work for airbrushing and here in the shop in the big garage we have this um, Husky Pro tank um, but we've already swapped out this motor and this compressor over here um, and the previous owner swapped them out I've gone over the whole story of this compressor but even this big huge compressor works for airbrushing again you got to find your proper fittings to fit your hose right so this one has a few fittings here that go from elbow and all that and then it comes out here at the hose it has a regulator so I can control the pressure and then it has a main air shutoff valve so on a big compressor like this if you get a rip on your line or something you want to be able to come and just shut off the air and you don't have to worry about all the air leaking out right there so all of that works now for those of you that don't know what a quick connect uh, fitting looks like it's something like this that's what you're going to be looking for at the store then you're going to want to hook it to a regulator like this and then you could have a quick connect like this or a splitter like i have with a bunch of quick connects all hooked to it the air regulator regulates how much pressure is coming out so you can set it up with this knob here and then you go from there pretty simple stuff i mean people ask me all the time what compressor do you use? So the, the honest answer is find yourself a good solid running compressor with a tank. And if you're going to be spraying at home, I would say get the biggest, the biggest, quietest compressor you can, right? So some compressors are loud. Like obviously the big one in the corner is a loud compressor, um, but I'm not, I don't have it outside. I have it in here in the garage doesn't really bother me if it's loud. If you don't have a garage or if you live in an apartment, obviously you're gonna want something quieter. Something like this California Air Tools will be fine. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to spray entire vehicles with it, but for doing artwork with the airbrush, um, that'll do just perfect. So, again, I'll put the links to these, or some of these, or some good compressors that I would recommend. I'll put the links down below in the description so that if you're still kind of confused, um, I'll put that down below. I'll, you know, I'll put a link to the quick connects and to maybe some of the fittings and stuff like that. So you could kind of try to figure it out for yourself. Again, it depends on what compressor you get. People ask me all the time, what fittings should I get? And the truth is, I don't know. It depends on your compressor, what hose you have, yada, yada. So you kind of got to do the research yourself and I could just put you on the right track. But, as always guys, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.